What's going on everybody? Jade up here. Today's video is going to be over my main tank build for Veteran Rock Grove Hard Mode. <laughs> I almost said Miss Grove. Um, <laughs> so let's let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Um, actually, let me let me say something right quick. Um, I do run DK and I do run Necro for main tanks. Uh, it's just kind of like what we need at the moment because we're having to find a few fills. So sometimes I'll fill in as a Necro. So the gear that I run on a Necro, um, there's two, at least there's two sets that I'm going to be using the entire time. Uh, then on my DK, there's only one set that I'm going to use the entire time. And the second set is just kind of like whatever we need. Okay. Um, so at least for the Necro, let's just go over that right quick. Um, the monster set we're running is in Kratos. This is kind of buffs or this buffs everybody's, uh, flame damage and reduces, uh, flame damage to your group. So, I mean, this is a pretty decent one, especially on the last boss. There's a bunch of fire damage. And by now I think a majority of people have done at least normal rock grove. So you kind of seen some of the fights. Uh, I will be going over uh, the uh, mechanics for each boss. It's just, I just don't like the mist form on it. So I haven't really been, I haven't really been too excited to do anything, to be honest. Uh, I think, anyways, um, so that's, that's kind of where I'm at right now. But, uh, and Kratos is really good, at least for your monster set. Uh, that's about the only other one I would run. If you do end up running another monster set, you could probably run, uh, what's the other one? I think it's, what is the other set? Uh, I can't even think of the name of it. It gives major, major maim to the boss. I think it's like Lady, yeah, Lady Thorns. Jeez, I don't know why I can't think of it. Uh, you could either run Lady Thorns or Encratus, either one. Off tank could run Encratus, main tank could run Lady Thorns. Uh, e either or, however you want to do this. Is what I would suggest. Uh, if you have somebody already covering Encratus and somebody having Lady Thorn, uh, you could easily just run like Engine Guarding or something like that. So as far as like the first set or the first piece goes, we are running Yonokrins. I have Jewelry and Weapons. Uh, as far as like the Inferno staff, I don't have Yonokrin's Inferno for whatever reason. So I just throw on whatever Inferno I have and you'll be fine. Uh, basically what Yonokrin's done is you, you taunt the enemy and you give your group members minor courage. That's why we run it. Uh, as far as like the traits go, I have decisive on my front bar. Uh, I've been meaning to change my enchant. I just haven't in a while. Um, the enchant you could run is like weakening or just kind of like whatever you feel like you need. If you feel like you need more stam uh, when you heavy attack or more mag or something like that, you can throw like a, um, uh, absorb stam or mag or something like that on your front bar when you heavy attack or something. But, um, kind of up to you. Weakening would be good. We got well fitted and then I just have stamina there. Uh, well fitted is just kind of nice. So when we are sprinting in between ad pulls or uh, if you're dodge rolling certain mechanics, uh, it's just kind of good, just kind of reduces that a little bit. So it's kind of nice. As far as enchant goes, you can through try stat if you want. Uh, again, back bar almost always is gonna be infused crusher. Uh, and you're more than likely if you're gonna run in Kratos you can run Inferno Staff back bar, um, or if you're like a mag DK, you can run like Burning Embers um, or something like that that deals fire damage. Or you can put a Fire Glyph on your front bar, uh, however you want to do it. Uh, I, I would just rather run Inferno Staff back bar, to be honest. Uh, you could also run like an Ice Staff as well if you want, if you feel like you need that little bit of extra uh, shielding, but being that you're in mist form all the time, uh, I don't see no no problem at all. Just running Inferno stuff. Uh, the second piece that I'm running is Sax. 
Uh, this comes from the new trial. Rock Grove, you'll just have to farm it on uh, that or just farm it on normal. And you should be good. Basically, what this one does is whenever you pop an ultimate, uh, you give everybody in your group major force. So roughly around 500 ultimate, you're still going to give them like 30 something or 30 something seconds of major force. So it's it's really good to have. Um, some people have asked me, should you par this with Jorvold or something like that? Or Yorvold, however you want to say it. Uh, Jorvold is from Scale Color Peak that increases like your major buffs. You or your major and minor. Uh, you could run that, but just keep in mind that um, if you're at like 500 ultimate, you're going to get like 40 seconds or 40 something seconds of major force. And that may be nice, uh, but in like an actual raid scenario, you're probably going to be popping your horn or your Colossus, probably your Colossus if you're a Necro, at about like 300 something ultimate. Um, so if you run Jorvolt's and this, it'll be like 30 something seconds or 30 seconds or so. Um, so it's it's not that it's not that big of a deal. Uh, you pop a Colossus, give everybody major force, debuff everything that's hit by the Colossus. Uh, after the 30 seconds is gone, just do a horn. So um, Sax is just really good so that when you can when you colo you when you do the Colossus, you can uh, give everybody force so they don't have to pop a horn or something. Uh, but we have everything sturdy as far as like the body pieces for Sax. Uh, I have sturdy because of the last boss. She does like these swipes and I would rather just hold block than to try and dodge roll them because it's just more simple. We don't have to waste a lot of stam. Uh, and plus there are some things that you cannot block. So just it's kind of better just to have sturdy there. Uh, in Kratos, we have well fitted and reinforced. Uh, reinforced, just I just have reinforced there, just for like when I go in misform, so I s still have a decent amount of resistance, uh, just in case I don't have balance or something up or a major resolve, or is it major? Re yeah, major resolve. And then well fitted again for the dodge roll and sprinting, uh, at least on the ad pulls and stuff. The biggest thing that you will need to do if you are main taking this and you're doing it on hard mode or you're doing it on vet and you're just struggling with staying alive because of the dot on the second boss, do three jewelry pieces of infused uh, cost reduction of Magicka. This is going to jump or excuse me, not jump. It's going to decrease the amount of uh, the cost for blood mist all the way down to around 300 so it's 100% perfect for this fight um, as stupid as the fight is that you have to go in mist form you know we you just got to do what you got to do unfortunately um, I personally don't like the mist form thing I, I like being able to have skill and doing you know showing that I have skill like in the game like dodging the scythe and stuff like that um, I think that takes way more skill. I think it's more rewarding. But uh, whatever. What do I know? Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's how we stay in misform for so long. Uh, but yeah, this is the main tank build. Sorry, I'm kind of like... I'm just kind of like uh, in and out of it a little bit here. Because I hate... I really just do not like going in misform for very long. It's just really boring gameplay. So, uh, for the trash pulls, this is what I run for my Necro tank. I run uh, Pierce Armor to uh, attack, to Pierce Armor to taunt the big ads, so that way they get major and minor fracture. Uh, or, excuse me, Breach. They change it to Breach. We have the Scythe here because in ad pulls, when you hit that, that's going to heal you for quite a bit, especially if you're going to hit a majority of ads. Um, so, you'll have a nice little hot there and heal. Uh, for boss fights, I just like this just because the higher your health is, the more this is going to heal as well. So uh, it's just it's just a nice little heal. Uh, at least for trash pools, I will run Necrotic Potency just because when adds die, you can absorb that, get six ultimate per one per add that's dead. So just super, super nice. Um, then we have Spirit Guardian. Spirit Guardian is the only one that I would use in PvE. Just because it has uh, the 10% reduction in damage, it's not a major or a minor, so it's it's just super freaking nice. 
10% uh, reduction in damage is super nice. Plus the heal is actually really good and uh, you can't get healed in mist form, but uh, this is super nice to like hit another ad or, so, or hit, hit another ad, hit another, excuse me, player uh, if they're a little bit low on health. And I love this drain. So this thing is badass. Okay, so in ad pools, uh, if you have the two-hander on you, you get that crusher mechanic on. If you guys have done the trial, you know what I'm talking about. If you hit this ability, like you taunt everything, you hit your scythe, you have your um, spirit guardian up, and then you hit this drain, um, you're, you're going to be good. And you're just going to be gaining ultimate. Gaining it, gaining it, gaining it. So it's four ultimate every one second for three seconds. So it's just super nice to hit this, let the three seconds go. Um, just kind of gauge when you're going to get hit with like the two-hander again or big damage are going to come out. So uh, you could block immediately after, get another scythe going, rebuff, uh, and then hit it again. But this is going to help out, get some ultimate back so you can drop more uh, Colossus. Back bar, uh, inner rage, uh, just a range time. Uh, balance i like running balance you could also uh go over here and use beckoning armor this is going to help with the um reduce the damage you take from damage over time abilities by 15 percent. super nice uh i just personally don't like this skill that much i mean i think it's a really good skill uh and it matches well with the passive but i just i really like using balance i like i like hitting this uh, I like getting, I like the risk first reward, right? So like, I, I like risking, uh, my health to gain magicka back. I just, I just prefer that. Um, uh, but you could definitely run beckoning if you'd like. And then of course, we're going to have elemental blockade. You're going to choose the one that lasts uh, 14 seconds. So not unstable. You'll choose elemental blockade. Um, this is just to keep your crusher up and since it's 14 seconds, it's going to proc your crusher enchant three times before you have to reapply it. So just keep that in mind. Uh, and then I have race against time. Uh, you don't have to use this. I just like using it because, uh, when you're rushing from ad pool to ad pool, you're going to want to get there quicker than the DPS. Uh, so race against time. It's just like a, a really good option there. And then we have Silver Release, just our, our, our quick pull and chain. We don't have an actual anything at all to really chain anything in. Um, so that's that's why we like, that's why we have to use Silver Leash. This skill is like kind of a good, but um, shitty situation kind of skill. Because if you're targeting an ad that can't be pulled in, you go to pull it in, you don't get refunded the, the stamp. So... If you're holding block, you're getting hit, you try to pull things in like two or three times and you're like, oh shit, I can't pull it in. Well, you just waste like six to nine K stam, if not more. Back bar, um, I like the res ulti only because in certain times, trash pulls, um, you know, if you get your ulti back again after popping colo, like you can get a nice res ulti. All right. So I'm just kind of kind of like, obviously you can see that majority of these skills are the same. At least the back bar are pretty much the same. Uh, the only difference is I add blood altar on. I use overflowing just because that heal, when you synergize it, it's going to heal for more. It's just really, really nice in oh shit moments. And my thing is, if, if you need something like this on, it's because it's an oh shit moment and you're almost going to die anyways. So if you pop this back to full health, good to go back in the fight. Uh, I use this on the first boss, and I use it on the second boss now. Uh, as far as the other skills that I run that are kind of unique, um, the drain, I use it on the first boss. Again, like I said, I don't hold block a lot. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so I use drain just to get ulti back. Uh, what I did yesterday on stream is I, I put blast bones on and I just sat there and just kept hitting blast bones on the dude. Uh, I think I did like 10 K DPS or something. It was, it was something like that. Um, I have thought about on the first boss doing something like this, putting the blast bones on and then doing like the tether just to kind of like, I don't know, do something with damage. I, I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know. Just kind of messing with it now. Um, 
Let's see what else. Um, yeah, the other only skill we're using is Blood Mist on the second boss again, infuse cost reduction on your jewelry. And that's going to lower this all the way down to 300. So in oh shit moments when you get double cursed or you get cursed and um, or you have a bleed on you from the flesh uh, abomination or something like that, you can stay in this form a little bit longer. Uh, it's really nice. Sauce will probably nerf mist form or do something with it. So just use it while you can. The next skill, the next skill here is going to be the heavy armor scale line. Uh, you're going to morph this into a movable. It'll be the blue colored skill. Basically what happens is you use this uh, and then you're just going to have a crap ton of block mitigation. So the swipes on the last boss is not going to hit you as hard if hard at all. Um, so that's what we use there. So that's all my skills there. Um, again, on the last boss, I use Race Against Time. I have thought about putting on Rapids, but honestly, screw the DPS, dude. Like, screw them. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I thought about putting on Rapids instead of Race Against Time uh, just because we want to get up that spiral staircase. So um, I don't know. I haven't really, we haven't really done a lot of time and a lot of testing on last boss, so that's still up in the air. Let's go ahead and jump into we'll jump into cp in a second let me just go over this right quick as far as like gear goes and stuff like that uh, i kind of went over every everything for that as far as like enchant goes you can kind of like look and see what i have there for enchants just so you guys can see um okay so uh mag 34 24 6 and then our max mag health and stam is uh 24k 38k and 25k again with warhorn and a warden You'll be about 40k. Uh, you'll be at like 26 um, or so, or, or whatever. You'll be quite quite a bit. 27, 28k stay, or whatever. So you'll you'll have quite a bit. Don't really need mag recovery because we have balance. Uh, health recovery is just from running bewitched, and our stam recovery we don't really need that either. Spell and weapon damage doesn't really matter too much. However, uh, misform does scale off of um, it scales better off of your spell damage so the higher your spell damage the more damage you do which increases your healing received so let's go ahead and buff up right quick with just only balance we're at 30k so we're 3k off of the 3k off roughly 3k 2400 off of the proposed um, resistance cap which is 33k so not too bad uh we are running i'm running the the ritual but i keep changing it um i've ran the ritual i've run the lord um i've run the tower i've ran all kinds of stuff and i'm just kind of playing around with moon uh with mana stones right now so uh, it's kind of up to you i mean the stats here are pretty disgusting anyways so i'm just kind of like running around the with those there's what the healing healing is there stage one vamp you could you could go ahead and go to stage three stage three is going to reduce your vampire abilities again uh which must form is going to get reduced and where's the other one here it is uh reduce your damage taken by up to 30 percent based on your missing health which is stage three or higher now the way this works and somebody commented on the video uh, earlier with that and was asking how does it calculate the 30 percent um so the way that it goes is if your health is at 50 percent if you're at 50 percent that's 15 percent uh mitigation and then when you're almost dead like five percent or so you're gonna be roughly close to 30 percent you need to do any random normals sure <laughs> Sorry guys, <laughs> that's Lobo. It's uh, PVP here. Definitely check him out. Uh, I'll leave his YouTube down in the comments down below. Really cool dude. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm running there. Uh, as far as CP, let's jump into that right quick. All right, so green tree. We have uh, rationeer. We just extra food, 10% um, to not consume a pot. Super nice. And then we have 20% movement speed out of combat which is so nice when you're um if you're ever out of combat in a trial and you're running from adpole to adpole super nice as well on top of race against time or rapids uh and then here if you're farming do trash hunter or treasure hunter if you're not then uh do the uh, disassembly here 
Blue tree. Uh, I get a lot of questions about this. We have 3,600 CP. Uh, I get it. So we have quite a bit. But this is your. This is what you want to try and put your points into. Um, these three here. This is going to reduce your single target damage by 10%. Reduce your dot damage by 10%. And then when you have a frost staff or shield on, equipped, you get an extra... 1900 resistance so that's just super nice it's just added uh resistance to kind of get you that 33k which is the max resistance at least for pve uh and then we do focus mending over here it's a little bit different than most people but uh i think but uh, this is just going to increase your healing done with single targets that's green's dragon blood that's arctic winds uh and that's the scythe it all heals off of that you could however if you wanted to on the second boss, um, in which I have done, is I took off Bulwark and I put on Biting Aura or Thaumaturge, either one of these. And what that does is these two increase the damage of Misform. So you could get a little bit stronger uh, damage off Misform and you could also get a, bitter, a bigger heal off of that. So it's totally up to you if that's what you wanna do. A Biting Aura or Thaumaturge will definitely increase that. Uh, but if not, these three here, uh, and then put in focus spending. A lot of people ask me why I don't use this one here. Uh, mainly because you're never going to be standing in an AoE. Um, hardly ever. The only time you are is on the last boss. And that is just mandatory because she fills the entire room up with like a fire damage ability. Um, so, yeah. That's the only reason why you would. Uh, you wouldn't ever naturally stand in AoEs. You can easily just get out of them uh as far as like the purple tree of course we have all this filled out uh then we have the 20 points here increase healing done and then here i just put extra points here if you have extra points you want to put in uh you could put them here if you'd like just to kind of increase your damage done a little bit but eh, it's kind of like up to you i would just put them in if you have your stars like your four stars that you want to use yeah, then just start filling up your passives. Fill those out. As far as the red tree goes, we have the top three up here. We got Boundless. Uh, increase our max health by 1400. Increase our armor by 1731. It's debatable if you need this or not. Um, I just put it on there just to get a little bit extra armor. Since I'm not at 33k. Uh, and then we have uh, 150 increased health, magic, and stam recovery, which is kind of nice. Uh, don't really, really need it, but it is an option to run. Uh, I was actually talking with Emac. Uh, what was it? I think it was yesterday. And he suggested Juggernaut uh, to try that since technically we are in CC immunity when missed for him. And I was like, oh, yeah, we are. Um, so we started running this, take 10% reduced damage on this form. It's not bad. Um, some other, uh, CP trees that I think, or stars that I think are really useful is the expert evasion. This is a free dodge roll every 30 seconds. This is so good. But in this trial, it's not that amazing. If you want to dodge roll last boss, then you can put this in free dodge roll every 30 seconds um survival this is actually pretty nice so while affected with a status effect your core combat skills cost five percent less that's 25 percent cost reduction your core combat skills are like your dodge roll block shit like that so uh that's gonna cost 25 percent less so it, it's super super nice oh uh, this is super nice um if you're off tank uh spirit mastery is pretty nice um uh, that's pretty much it for PVE that I would kind of consider. This used to be really OP. Uh, it's not that amazing anymore, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the main tank build. Uh, hopefully this guy helps you out, at least in some way, uh, to survive or something like that. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.